So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys today how to pack your own cartridge for uh, a, like a, a Buki Revelaris or a Biotage uh, instrument. Um, we make our own C2 silica, so it's ethyl activated silica gel. Um, it's very simple to make, but we use that because we work with isocyanides, which are like a um, chemical class that's very sensitive to silica gel. I'll, I'll link a paper down below uh, to show you just uh, how C2 silica works. Um, but this is what we're going to be using. We're using a, these Buki uh, 12 gram pack, uh, cartridges that come with their own cartridge. This top connecting piece adapter, the screw in for the top, the cartridge itself, and an upper and a lower fret. So lower fret is for uh, down here, upper fret is for the top. All right, sounds pretty explanatory. So we're first going to take this, this lower fret, we're going to insert it in. Give me one second, let me go grab the other piece. Okay, so you're going to want to take this insertion rod and you're going to push down the the lower fret. You're also going to take your razor and you're going to want to cut off this top of the uh, um, cartridge here. The reason is for the for a, a Revelaris, this actually won't connect with that little top. You need the entire top exposed. So you're going to just take a single edge razor. I don't know if you can use scissors or not. And you're just going to push down around the outside of this, kind of in a sawing motion, until you can feel yourself push through. And go all the way around. There we go. And then once you go all the way around, it's easy. Right, there you go. Top off. Make sure you didn't crack the bottom. Right, we didn't. And just get rid of that. It's trash at this point. So once you have the lower fret in, now we're going to... Um, Add our silica. You can let that go. I'll just put it over the bag. Now we're gonna add our silica. So if I take a little bit of the C2 silica, you wanna make sure it's a nice, fine, dry powder, right? That's what silica typically is. You're gonna add it to your weighing pan. Okay. Now one thing I'm gonna grab is parafilm. Good, we have some right here. And you need a 2440 adapter. So we're going to use our in-house vac because we really don't care if a little bit of stuff gets into this. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't want to do this on your manifold because what if your manifold, uh, you know, you get silica gel all up in it. Yeah, I can make sure that's his, um, oh, that's on vacuum. Yep, yep, so it's on the vacuum line. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push this over. You can see there's no vacuum seal. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the parafilm. I usually use a bigger piece than this, but being lazy and trying to reuse a piece that's already cut in this hood. Oops. And then you're going to seal it. Not the easiest task in the world. It doesn't need to be a tight seal, it needs to be a tight enough seal because what's gonna happen is your vacuum once turned on Right, finish, it closes that seal. Now we have a tight seal there. So you wanna make sure that your silica is a nice fine powder. If there's clumps, then you're gonna have clumps inside your cartridge, but you're literally just gonna take it and lower it. Okay, and you're gonna let it fill up. Just move it around like this. You can see it filling up the cartridge. And you can see our cartridge is almost filled. Okay, now it's filled. But that's too much in there. So I'm actually just going to take our razor and scrape down a little bit. Okay, now we'll just try fitting this and see what happens. So we're going to take an upper frit, the ones that are slightly bigger than the lower frit. And I'm going to place this over the top and push down. Then you're going to take your top piece here. You want to make sure that this can actually clip on. You should hear it snap on when you're trying to do this. It's not, which means there's still too much silica in there. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this frit back out. Let's try this again. Put the frit in. Place this top cap on. You hear that click? Just gotta make sure we get the click all the way around. Right, sitting on there flat. And you're just gonna take this and screw it on. And there you go. Right, so there's your, there's your cartridge that's packed. Right, again, I was gonna make sure that this top is on there. Yep, that's that's on there nicely. Not gonna have any leaks with this. It's packed all the way up to the brim. You gotta frit on the bottom and on the top. Right, so this is a vacuum packed cartridge and it's just like the ones that you purchased from them, except now it has our functionalized silica.